Welcome to Oak Grove College, where we are working in the gardens today. Outside, it is very cold and cold. frosty. And frosty. Today, I've got two students to help me. They are Luke and Toby. What are we going to do in the gardens today? We are going to plant broad beans. Why are we going to plant broad beans? Because um, lots of people plant broad beans across the world and we're planting the broad beans because we're going to show you a tutorial for the plant. Tell me, why else are we planting broad beans? So they thrive in colds. Broad beans can survive in the cold and the frost. These broad beans were inside last night. The other broad beans are out in the garden. So, what do you need to know to plant broad beans? First thing is you will need some broad beans. You might find you've got some seeds left at home in the cupboard somewhere. If you can't, you can go to a garden centre or to a supermarket and they're being sold in their garden sections or fruit and veg sections. Next you're going to need some... Trays. Or... Pots. Or pots. If you haven't got garden trays or pots, any old leftover containers with a few holes in the bottom will be fine to use as well. What else do we need? We need a trowel and some we need a trowel and we need some compost. Toby, do you want to come round and get us some compost, please? <coughs> the next stage is to fill some pots with compost. Whether you're using a single pot or a tray to put your compost in. If you've got some old compost in the garden outside, you can see that side, it might be frosty, just give it a shake off. If you've got if you go to supermarkets, you should be able to pick up a bag of compost at this time of year. Also, if you have um, a bunch of compost, which, which looks like a rock, you need to break it down so it's like this type of compost, because otherwise you won't be able to plant in the seed. Okay, so your next step is you're using a pot. Need to get this rack of pots, press it down so you, um, after you do uh, so you have to press it hard and then you need to take it off. So here's a demonstration. Well done, Luke. It's important to get your soil nice and compacted before your beans go in. Otherwise, when you water the soil, the soil will go everywhere and your beans will be lost but the pot will not be in there. Also, you need a dibble to make holes for the, um, so the beans to go in. And then I'll demonstrate how you can do the beans. So, if you're planting a broad green, broad green you need to have it, have the plant, but have the seed vertically because if you don't and, and you have it horizontally the rain will pour on it and then it will go sopping but if you plant it vertically the rain will go straight past it and if you plant two that it, it will stop mice from eating these because I know mice are little pests which like to eat them. So I'm going to put one of these in vertically, just like that, and then I'll just use the excess um, soil to bury them. And the same, and again and again. So after you've buried the seeds, you will need a watering can or any old jug, and pour the water onto the buried soil. The broad beans need to keep a good level of water with them, start them off watered, and then after they've gone to the place where they're going to grow, keep watering them, don't let them dry out. So, after you've watered the beans, you, you might forget what the beans are, so you'll need a label, which is made out of plastic, and you can use 
a Sharpie, any colour, including black. Well, the only Sharpie we have currently is blue, so I'm just going to write broad beans, and then we will take them to the greenhouse and put on some classic music. Now we've got your beans planted in their trays, what do we need to do with the broad beans? Take them to the greenhouse. Why is a greenhouse a good idea? Because they'll get all the light and they will get very good to you. That's a good idea because at this time of year it can be frosty. Your beans are okay in the frost, but a greenhouse will make them germinate more quickly. Likewise, do you want to take them to the greenhouse? Yeah, yeah sure. About six weeks later, your beans will be beginning to grow. Here's some ones we planted before Christmas time. When they're at this stage, then that's the stage when you can start to think about putting them outside into a deeper bed of soil to grow. Later in the season, they will be about this tall, and you need to start thinking about keeping them from falling over in the wind. Later, you'll have your beans growing, which hopefully will be May time, and you can start picking your early beans. Thank you, Luke and Toby. You've done a fantastic job today in the garden. What's the last thing we need to do? Wash yeah. our hands. Why do we need to wash our hands? Because there's bacteria that needs to be erased from our hands. Thank you for joining us in the garden today. That's a fantastic job planting broad beans.